Well, it's September 29th and we have a busy day ahead of us. This is Eric from over in Georgia. And uh, Eric's, uh, I guess, YouTube handle is Spirit, Spirit of, of Toad. Toad. Yep. I used to tan a lot of hides and uh, when I was out late by the fire, there's always this big toad frog that come hang out with me. And so he just chills, seemed like an appropriate thing. Well, Eric's been after me for a while to come and hang out and work bees a little bit. Uh, now you've worked with a commercial guy over there in Georgia a little bit, haven't you? Yeah, he's out of Florida. Uh, Florida, uh, okay. The, the place where we're pollinating is closer to my house. It's only about eight miles from my house. And it's about an hour drive for him. So yeah, You're just kind of north of the Florida line over in Georgia. You're kind of southwest Georgia, and I'm here in southeast Alabama. So you're, what, yeah. about an hour, hour and a half? It's an hour here? and a half. It was an hour and 20 minutes to get here. Okay, cool. So anyway, we appreciate you coming out, Eric. We got a lot of work to do this morning. Uh, we're up here in Ozark, and, you know, recently we replaced a bunch of these queens with Michael Palmer queens. I have seven queens coming from Greg Burns at Nature's Image Farm. I'm really trying to get my genetics figured out here. So Eric's gonna help me out today. We're gonna see if we can figure some things out. We may check for a few mites. Uh, we're definitely gonna try to get rid of some of these bad queens. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna eliminate a couple of queens up here that I know are mean and, and maybe make a couple of splits. And we'll bring you along for the ride on some of it, probably not all of it, but we'll just kind of check in when we see something interesting. Let's go to work, man. Let's get some work done. All right. Uh, Eric, looks like we got some stores in there, huh? Oh, yeah, Maybe if definitely. the feeding's been doing some good and, and maybe they've... Yeah, that's heavy. there's a little flow coming in. Good, good. I like to see that. I mean, maybe we don't have to I feed them to quite as heavy. I want to check pattern, but I don't really want to go all the way through it if I ain't got to. That's pretty heavy. Yeah. They've gotten two gallons of food in the frame feeder, plus we put some open food out for them. So there's been a lot of food coming in the last three or four weeks. Yeah, there's got to be some brood on that one. It's a little bit lighter. We'll see. A little bit at the bottom there. A little see, bit of cap. See some I see some young larvae. Okay, good. Well, they're not too mean. I thought this was going to be a mean colony. They're, they're being pretty good, actually. They like pizza. Smoke them to the eyes water. Good pollen stores in there. Uh, well, I'd like to see that. Let's try the next one over. So Eric's done some work with the commercial guy down there, so he knows how to get through them quick. Yeah, I'm really kind of happy with these bees. I think we'll leave them alone. Yeah, that's not bad at all, really. We're not going to. Yeah, look at that brood pattern. Look at that brood pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's see, part of this might be from the, uh, you know, the mite treatments as well. Got everything kind of cleaned up, so hopefully they're in good shape. Well, let's just close that thing up and leave them alone, yeah, Eric. I don't I think said. we need to. I don't think we need to kill that queen, do we? I don't think so. They thing. seem pretty tame. These girls right here have been one of my more feisty hives up here, and of course I say that, and today they'll be perfect. But we're going to go ahead and replace this queen. They're starting to get a little testy. Let's just go ahead and find this queen, and I do want to replace this one. I just know how they were up there in the other spot before I pulled them down here. And as they get stronger, I'm afraid they're gonna get a little bit off the chain. Yeah, they're a little more living, ain't they? Yeah, they're starting to, see, start pulling them out. They're getting after us a little bit. Yep, see? <laughs> yeah, they all over that microphone. Yeah, we're gonna find this girl and go ahead and pinch her. This is where one of the new queens is gonna go for sure. This hive is real weak after I pulled the original queen down here after the split, and she's building it back up, it looks like. Um, so hopefully we'll have enough. Yes, yeah, so they're putting a little store, some stores, and that's probably maybe some nectar, maybe some sugar water from the feeding we've done. Yeah, it's a pretty spotty brood pattern too, at least. Yeah, right it's there. not a great brood pattern so far. Yeah, we gone. This, this girl's getting replaced right here for sure. But she's built them back up. There were almost no bees in here there for a little while. Really? Yeah. Very I did mark low. her, so if you see her, she'll, she was, there she is right there. There she is. She's a big old pretty queen, but you can go ahead she's and. She's got to go. Yeah. Okay, probably the most humane way to do this, and I know a lot of people might get on me a little bit, but you just kind of, I got her between my fingers. You just kind of pinch her. She's a goner. Okay. Well, we'll be getting a new queen in here, and hopefully it'll calm them down, and just, they won't skip a beat. All right, we're going to just uh, check this one for mites. Uh, we found the queen in here and uh, trying to determine if we want to replace her or not. If I do a mite check and they're low on mites, we'll probably just replace this queen because it's got a little bit of a spotty brood pattern here. Now, this, uh, this is an easy check. You know, I already have one of these, but this is an easy check that Greg Burns sent me from Nature's Image Farm. So I figured I might as well go ahead and pull it out and use it here. Greg's been a good friend of mine um, the last couple of years. It's, Make sure the queen's not on here. I think she's on a different frame, isn't she, Eric? Yeah, she was on one or two back, I think. It's probably not quite enough. That ought to do. Okay, so this is a quarter cup. We want a half cup, so we're gonna do two scoops. Just make sure the queen's not in here. I'm using 
Don dishwashing, Don Ultra dishwashing detergent in this water to for my check. A lot of people you can use alcohol or the dishwashing detergent, and Don Ultra works well. It's also pretty cheap to do it this way. So let's just see what we got, Eric. I hope we wash zeros. I hope so too. We've got had the Apivar in here. We're taking it out today, so let's let it. While it's settling a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and put these frames back in. I'm gonna replace this queen, I think. We got any mites? I can't tell. I don't see that's one. I don't see any. I don't see any mites. So we're washing zero mites on that. So looks like the Apivar worked. Assuming there was a mite load before, but there is a spotty brood pattern. So I think we're just going to go ahead and replace this queen. You know, I got seven queens coming. I might as well. Might as well, because that's not the greatest pattern. And it's not a great pattern, and the brood doesn't look super healthy either. So she's really just not doing a, a tremendously great job. So if I can find her, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate her, and we'll replace her. Move that Okay, box. so we're doing something new here for me. I know a lot of people do this, but we got a double screen board here. Eric's holding one right there in his hand. But we found the queen. She was actually in the top box of this double deep right here. And we moved her down below. She's doing a great job. We'll kind of keep an eye on her throughout the winter and see how she does. But uh, what you do with these double screen boards is you, you configure the boxes however you want them. We got the queen down below now. We got some brood and bees up here. You put the entrance towards the back. Look right here. There's the entrance. That way the forages will go back home to the original box. And uh, we'll put the new queen up here, and I may trickle feed them. I, I may do that. They seem perfectly calm, though, but we'll, uh, we'll see what we want to do with that. Probably feed them, put the new queen in here, and then we'll have a new queen introduced, a new hive here, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. And the idea is that the uh, bees below cannot touch the bees above. Their tongues aren't long enough to touch. Uh -huh. The queen mandibular pheromone is spread trophallactically from, from mouth part to mouth part is how they spread it. So, so the, the colony above goes queenless in a matter of just a few minutes. But then they also can receive the, the warmth from the bees right, below. Right, they share the warmth. Yeah, cool. Well, I'm excited to try that. The story on this colony is we got a, a hive right here that had one of Greg Burns' uh, queens from Nature's Image Farm from last year in it. And we just found the queen. You see her? She's right there. Point to her again, Eric. Right, right there, there by my thumb. Beautiful queen, but she's not marked, which means they superseded her sometime this year. Beautiful queen doing a beautiful job and you can tell these bees are super calm. Eric, uh, let me pull this next frame over. Yeah, pull that one up. Look at how beautiful at that, this brood is right here. Look at that brood pattern. Isn't that awesome? So I think she's a nice, young, vibrant queen. I'm gonna go ahead and mark her. And uh, just to let Greg know, I'm pretty sure that's a daughter of one of your queens, man. She's a descendant anyway, and she's doing a great job. So we, uh, we did some splits here, these two with the double screen boards. Let me try that out. This one right here was a little feisty, so we uh, eliminated that queen and we'll put a new queen in there. The vertical bricks mean we need to put the new queens in there when Greg's queens get here. And then over here, Eric's going through some of these Michael Palmer queens. Uh, what do you think? They were borderline starving uh, three weeks ago, and we fed them each two gallons of food in the frame feeders plus some open feeding. What do you think? They got some weight on them now? They've right? got all, uh, at least these two outside frames are Man, pretty look heavy. Look at the attitude. Look how calm those bees are. Yeah. Look at that. Wow, man, they're, they're nice. just, they are so nice. That's exciting. The brood pattern's a little spotty, but that's okay. I think she's gonna fill it in, you know. Yeah, she's, gonna, I mean, she's back filling There's some pollen it. in between all the broods. So yeah, so they're, they're probably the brooding up. Like? About the same. Okay, well good, the bees look nice. Well, how's the weight on the colony? Is there some, this one's got some food Both in it. Both of those are food, yeah. Okay, yeah, well there's some brood well, right there. There's some brood on that one. All right. Maybe it was that one and this one I got behind me then. Yeah, so yeah, that's got a little weight on it. They've been putting some nectar slash syrup in there. So they're in a much better position than they were three weeks ago. I'm hoping to see a lot more of that all the way down this whole row here. We put those new Michael Palmer queens in here. Eric, what's your take on it so far, man? What do you think about the bees? Most of them are very well behaved. That one right there, yeah. uh, we call that spicy. Yeah. Most so of them are very well behaved. So we're getting there, aren't we? We're compared, getting there. Compared to some of the it's videos. It's not like that video you had where you had 100 stings in your leg, Bridges' <laughs> legs, man. That was, <laughs> that was crazy. Another one of the Michael Palmer Queens is, and look at how calm they are. They're looking real strong. They do have some food in here, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and feed them again. Look how calm they are, man. 
just beautiful. Got some pollen in there. The pollen kind of comes in most of the year up here, even in the winter time. So it's not as big of a concern to me. They're bringing in some nectar. Maybe that's some syrup from the previous feeding, but they're looking good. These girls are still building wax, so there's got to be something on a little bit of flow here somewhere. Oh yeah, perfectly fine. We're, we're gonna roll with this. Check out that brood pattern right there. Isn't that just fantastic how, how evenly distributed? It's awesome, and look how calm the bees are. Once yeah. again, they're just, it's like rolling over the frame, like he's not even there. <laughs> Very nice. That's what we're looking for. When That's we first, what we want. We first opened it up, we thought it was kind of weak looking, but they're definitely making up for it. Yeah. Super nice, love it. Sure has been good having some help out here, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, anytime, anytime. We got through all of them out here. We found a spot for seven new queens. Uh, we tried some different things. We did a couple of mite washes. I think we did three mite washes. Three mites. Zero mites. Zero mites. Bees both are calm. They passed Eric's inspection. He doesn't tolerate mean bees. So. I don't tolerate them, nope. So we did find two or three that were a little nasty, and we're going to replace those queens. So I'm pretty excited about how they're doing. We had a couple that were either too weak or on the verge of dead out, so we went ahead and just... Uh, shook those bees out and gave them a chance to go to a different colony. But overall, I'm pretty excited about it. What do you think, Eric? I, I'm, I'm pretty amazed, yeah. Okay. Uh, you've got some good results here. Well, we're going to go ahead and, and go ahead and put some food out for them one more time, I think, make sure they got plenty of weight on them. I also want for food to be coming in when I put these new queens in the hives because hopefully that will help keep the bees calm yeah. and maybe less likely to reject their queens. And so, anyway, I'll be out here tomorrow morning. Uh, assuming the queens come in today like they're supposed to, I'll be here tomorrow morning installing the queens. I appreciate you helping me out, Eric. Yes, sir. My pleasure. All right, yes, sir. All right. Well, the queens are here, and it's the next day, and we're going to go ahead and introduce these queens to these colonies. Now, these two right here with the bucket feeders on them from Nature's Image Farm um, are the first two we're going to do today. Uh, this one over here, we're replacing the queen because they are quite feisty. Uh, these right here, I can't remember what their attitude was, but uh, we went ahead and decided to replace the queen in this one as well. And so... And the queens came from uh, Greg Burns at Nature's Image Farm as well. Uh, he's got some uh, queen cages in there with some attendants in the box. And so we'll see how things look. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and, and introduce some queens. And we're going to see how these queens from Nature's Image Farm do. I'm going to do my best to speak loudly. Uh, I didn't bring my mic and we have a highway close by. So if you hear the cars, that's what that is. One of the beauties of these bucket feeders is... Uh, when you need to address the hive, I think you can just kind of flip the bucket up. Set it off to the side, or if you just want to stop fitting for all, you can just flip the bucket up like this and just set it there. And uh, it works out well, I guess. I haven't used them much, but I'm going to give them a try here. I just had them set. <clears throat> the buckets have three small holes in them, which is enough to kind of trickle feed and hopefully keep the bees happy as they accept these queens. I did not fill the frame feeder in this colony because I just want to see how that works. So let's get in this box here, see how the queens are doing. I have not opened the box yet. See how Greg ships his queens or how he shipped these anyway. Okay, he put the Queens in the cages. I got seven here. Uh, he's got a sponge there, I think, for moisture and some candy over here. So these attendants can take care of the bees. Let's pull one of these girls out and see how she looks. It's a pretty queen in there. He actually put uh, numbers on them, uh, like they do the breeder queens. And so we'll be able to keep track of, of each queen and how they do. This one is number 77, I think. So it's been almost 24 hours. We did this yesterday morning, and now it's, what, about, it's a little bit after 9 o'clock, the 30th of September. You can see this breed pattern's pretty spotty on these, these, this queen that was in here. So for those who may not be familiar with queen introduction, there's some candy in here, this little tube right here. And the idea is that you put it in the colony, and the bees eat through the candy. And by the time they get through that candy and release her, they're used to her pheromone and they'll accept her. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here in this area of brood. Kind of push it down into the comb a little bit so it doesn't fall down. Slide it in here, push it against the next frame over. 
That way the bees can get to that candy and release the queen. Actually, I'm gonna move it a little bit forward on the frame because I don't really want that feed. If there's a, if there's a leak, I don't want it dripping right down on her. So I'm gonna put it right here, a little bit forward on the frame. And that way, if the food leaks a little bit, it won't drip right on her. Hopefully those bees will release her and she'll take charge and build this colony up and, and they'll do well. Take the bucket feeder, flip it over, and there we go. I wrote the number of the queen on the front of the box. These nice wax tipped lids from Gregor, almost too nice to ride on. That may change in the future, but for now, <laughs> I just went ahead and wrote it on the front of the box there, so we know what number queen that is. Hope I can do it without gloves. Maybe this food hasn't calmed down a little bit. The queen that was in here is productive. These bees have been one of my more aggressive or defensive colonies up here pretty much all year. So I decided to replace her. I'm trying to improve that by this whole process here. She is number 79. This bee is number, <clears throat> this queen is number 79 right here. Oh, let's see if we can do this without gloves. putting syrup in there so I've got these bees are being fed with the bucket feeder and with open feed see there's quite a few bees in here I think I'm just gonna put this queen right here number 79 there she is got her pushed into the comb just a little bit there's room for bees to get, get to the candy right here Put it in. I also have her move this way a little bit so the syrup won't drip on her if it leaks. Put her in there. Press it. Press them together. Just like so. And we'll see what happens. Okay. Interestingly, these bees are using this upper entrance right here, a little hole in the box. And they're bringing in some kind of a cream colored type pollen. If you look right there, not sure what that is, but they're bringing quite a bit of it in. Okay, we have three of them placed. Now we're gonna introduce queens to these with the double screen boards. I think she's 75 here. Now I've never really done these uh, double screen boards before. So my concern is population, if all the bees go back down below, but it looks like they turned out okay here, so we're in good shape. See if I can find the frame with the brood on it here. A couple of frames right here. See the spotty, the brood pattern was a little spotty, but we do have the queen down below the other queen. And I think there was some, maybe a little better brood pattern down below. So let's go ahead and put her on here. Slide it in there. There we go. Okay, we'll get these last three placed and then we'll see how things turn out. This is the last queen, number 76. Uh, we actually had a double stacked nuke here with a Michael Palmer queen in it that's doing really well. And we split it, these two boxes right here. And so this is the queenless one. Put her in there. Look at him checking her out already. Two really nice colonies side by side. Now it's just a matter of waiting here for a week or so, and we'll see what the acceptance rate is. I appreciate Eric helping me out yesterday, and I appreciate Greg and Nature's Image Farm for sending me these things uh, to try out. The double screen boards, the bucket feeders, and of course the queens, especially this late in the season. There's no way just a few short months ago I could have walked in front of these bees like this without just getting lit up. So man, it's already a tremendous improvement. I'm gonna put the video where I introduced the Michael Palmer Queens right here. Y'all take care, we'll catch you next time.